exciting day for us, uh, finally, to uh, be in Assembly Hall in front of our own fans. Um, and I thought that uh, there were some things that we were uh, did really well. I thought there were some things we, we certainly have to continue to work on. Um, but overall, I thought the effort was, was tremendous. Um, we had some miscues there defensively, let 15 uh, get away from us uh, a few times there in the first half. Of course, we adjusted to that in the second half, and I thought it did a, a much better job. Um, but that's part of it. You know, uh, that's one of the reasons why you play uh, close scrimmages and you have exhibition games uh, in order to, to iron some of those things out. Um, but uh, overall, I thought it was um, a, a good, uh, good day for our young group um, and uh, got some scoring from different people. Um, one of the areas that uh, concerns me is, um, is our offensive rebounding. We, uh, at halftime, I think Cahill was the only one. Uh, we had five, and I think she had all five of them. So the challenge was for our uh, supporting crew to, to uh, really try to help her um, manage the offensive boards. And that's going to be an area rebounding where we're going to have to be really good night in and night out. I did. Um, you know, part of it is ALS awareness, as, as you know, um, and the T-shirts that uh, they wore were uh, uh, representing myself being from the small town. Uh, plus, all the proceeds went to a great cause, and that uh, it, to the ALS Foundation. Um, and so, it was special uh, to look up there. It, it boosted our attendance. Um, from what I've been told by our marketing people. So hopefully uh, those are, you know, Seymour's only about 45 minutes uh, down the road. Um, they will, uh, they're, they've been tremendous friends to our family and uh, they'll continue to be and uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see them from time to time, hopefully uh, a lot more here in assembly. Coach, sticking with the, the post players, I guess, uh, in the paint, 46 to 18 advantage, Dave the Hooters talk about, I guess, what your mindset was from an offensive perspective to get the ball in the post in the play of Amanda, Jen, and uh, Lindsay and uh, those players? Well, I don't know what the, the uh, statistics were there early, but I know they weren't very good from beyond the three-point line. Um, and so uh, we anticipated that UND was going to play a lot of zone today. Uh, and one of the things that we cautioned our group about was that we were going to have opportunities to get a lot of open looks outside the arc. Um, but we really felt like uh, we had to get post touches. And so at uh, uh, the timeout, we really uh, talked about uh, in that offense that we run, really having uh, our guards dedicate themselves to putting the ball inside. Our post players didn't, per se, have to shoot it. Um, but when you do, do that, you know, the defense, one has to shift, one has to drop and dig, has to be aware of, uh, you know, your low post. And they create a lot of attention, which opens up the outside uh, for your offense. But but uh, we certainly, uh, you know, challenged our group at halftime that we felt like we could get a lot of easy buckets, uh, high percentage shots um, in the second half um, just by running our continuity offense and, and, like I said, just really dedicating ourselves to uh, getting the ball inside as much as we could. So, um, again, give this kid this, – this is a young, young group of – of players um, and any adjustments that we made throughout the game uh, or at halftime, I was pleased with the way they, they came out and adjusted. Um, and, and like I said, we'll continue to grow as a, as a group, um, but uh, we're certainly uh, we're able to uh, make the adjustments that we needed, um, and uh, that was good to see. Coach, a lot of emphasis was offseason and defense. What's it been like to see kind of how that's progressed now that you're playing competition? Well, I think that uh, we still have a lot of work to do. I, I think that we have made progress. Um, you know, I only wanted to give up 40 points uh, to UND, and we didn't do that. So we didn't meet our defensive goal. Um, but, uh, you know, there's uh, – we'll look back at the film, and, and there'll be, you know, reasons for the – for why we did that, um, and the reasons will be all fixable, which is good. Uh, we made progress uh, last week, as you guys know, we went and played uh, in a close scrimmage down in Nashville, uh, and we had a lot of miscues defensively. Came back, watched film, worked on it all week, uh, and we, we saw some progress today. We saw some, we, we did a lot of good things. Uh, we were out of position at, at, at some times, but that'll happen. Um, but I, like I said, I, don't, I think our effort was there. Our intentions were in the right place, 
Um, but it, we were maybe a, a late, a step here, getting outside the paint late uh, in our gap. We were late at helping and recovering. Um, and so those are all fixable things, which, uh, you know, are good. And we'll just keep hammering uh, those things home with, uh, with our group. And uh, uh, we'll continue. You'll see this group continue to get better and better as the year, year goes on on the defensive end. Claren had three points, but she had seven assists. Is that kind of her role to be a little more facilitator? Well, I think she, I don't know how many uh, shots she took. She took one for five. Um, no, she's not a, she's a facilitator, but she's a scorer. Uh, we all know that Laren uh, is, is unique, and she's a special basketball player. I've said that uh, from day one. Uh, the thing that we've done is, is with Tyra and Taylor, and, and I think Carly tonight had a, had a good night. Lex, you know, we, we've added some, some depth. We've added some other pieces around her, which is only going to help her. Uh, but to, to categorize Laren as just a facilitator, I would be crazy. She's, she's way too good of a basketball player all around to find her own shots and then create shots for others. There's a lot of talk in the uh, days leading up to this about starting four guards, um, but you ended up going with two forwards. Is that a, a, a strategy you, go, you think you go with? Well, foul forwards? trouble is, a, is concerning for us. We, we got in it tonight, um, or today. Um, and so Lindsay and, and Cahill and, and Jen are really, really going to have to be smart and uh, you know uh, play with their hands and not so much their feet, um, or play with their feet, not so much their hands, um, and, and reach and, and you know just pick up cheap fouls. Um, and, and some of that is setting illegal screens on the offensive end. I mean, those are things we got to clean up. Those are unforced turnovers, unforced errors uh, that, quite frankly, we, we can't have. We can't afford to have our post Player, players in foul trouble because they're set in moving screens. Um, but, um, you know, we're going to be in situations where we're going to have to play small. We know that. Um, and then uh, we're going to have to be really creative on the defensive end. Tonight, it didn't hurt us. Um, but down the road, it certainly could give us, um, sh could, could be a tremendous challenge for us as we play teams that are bigger than we are. And we have to go with the four guard lineup. And then Alexis uh, Gassian had a kind of a quiet night statistically, but looked really solid out there defensively. She is. Uh, you know, Lex is uh, a really great defender. She has, um, uh, you know, she's long, gets a lot of deflections in practice. Uh, we, we just need Lex to be more aggressive um, uh, on the offensive end. Um, again, sometimes we, we fall in love with that three-point line. Uh, she had an opportunity in transition to hit ahead to just really, you know, put the ball on the deck and attack the glass. And instead, she uh, chose to settle for that outside three-point shot, which, again, she's more than capable of shooting. But another way, uh, another thing that we're going to do to have to create points is get to the free throw line. And you do that by attacking the glass and, and uh, putting pressure on the defense to, to, to come over and help and or foul you uh, and get yourself to the free throw line. So that's another uh, point of emphasis for our team. We can't fall in love with the three-point line. We've got to be more aggressive trying to get to the basket, uh, trying to get to the free throw line. We're talking about how much you like Amanda Cahill coming mm -hmm. into this. I mean Double, yeah. I like her even more today than I did yesterday. So um, she's she's going to be a special player in the Big Ten. She I told you guys she just has a knack for being around the ball. Um, she is uh, um, uh, you know she passes well. Um, you know she she says that stretch four that can knock down shots, but she can also play with her back to the basket. Um, and she's going to just continue to, to, to really an, improve and, and be a special player in this league. Um, and so she's, uh, she's been all that I told you she was. You know, a nice surprise, because uh, when you look at her running up and down the floor, you kinda, she's kind of unassuming as far as what her abilities are. Um, but she, I think, is a terrific, uh, going to be a terrific player in this league. 26 points from Tyra Buss, two leagues. You guys, is that what you expect from right. her this season? Well, you know, I think that, uh, sir, sure. I think we're trying to get some some scoring help, uh, you know, to, to Laren and, and uh, Tyra and, and uh, our uh, let, uh, there's too many T's on my team. Taylor uh, and uh, Lex and, and, and you know, we're, it's, it's score by committee for us. It really is. And uh, it's nice to know that we have guards like, like T that uh, on the nights that, uh, you know, Laren goes one for five, um, Taylor goes one for four, that, uh, you know, somebody else can take up the scoring load, that we have other options. Uh, that's what great teams have. Um, they have more than one option, and uh, we have that. I wish we were a little bit bigger uh, on the inside uh, for defensive purposes. I, you know, I like what I love what Jen and, and Lindsay and, and Cahill can do offensively. Uh, I just wish we had we could give them a little bit more help. Um, you know, from a size standpoint on the defensive end.
uh, one more. Uh, Tyra also had five steals tonight. Mm -hmm. Really was hounding the uh, opposing point guard. Uh, is that something you've been moving forward as well? Oh, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, everything that we do is uh, again our identity. I want this program to be uh, based on what we do on the defensive end, and that's a mindset. And we have to we have to we have to develop that. Um, our freshmen. Um, they don't know what they don't know, and that's they, they've come in and they've just bought into what we are uh, implementing, and, and particularly on the defensive end. And um, you know, Ty, she, she's been great. She's been great at picking up. Uh, she she got caught out of position a couple times today, this afternoon. Uh, the growth there, though, is she knows her mistakes. And anytime you have a kid, if we call a timeout or comes out and, and, and says that's my fault, I didn't rotate, I wasn't there fast enough. Uh, to me, that's that's really good um, that she she recognizes where she needs to be. Uh, but I thought her ball pressure, it starts with that, you know, in our program. Our ball pressure has to be tremendous. Um, and I thought she did, a, she did a really good job on both sides of the ball today.